and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Will the clerk please call the roll? Rose? Here. Shields? Here. Simpson? Here. Coyne? Here. Hilberg? Here. Colasar? Here. Lamb? Here. Reading of the minutes? Mr. President? Mr. Shields? I move that the minutes of the regular council meeting of October 26, 2015 as prepared and submitted by the clerk be approved. Second. Discussion? Will the clerk please call the roll and adoption of the minutes? Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Reports of standing committees. The Finance Committee met prior to Council <coughs> and will meet again in two weeks. Uh, we have several items, of course, on the agenda. agenda. Health, Safety, and Sanitation Committee, Mr. Rose? Thank you, Mr. President. Nothing to report and no meeting scheduled. Thank you. Public Properties Committee, Mr. Shields? Thank you, Mr. President. Public Properties had a meeting last Monday, November 2nd. Um, no information on tonight's agenda from that meeting. We're still working through the process on the one item we reviewed. Uh, no further meeting scheduled at this time. Thank you. Special Legislation Committee, Mr. Lamb. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, no meeting held. Um, I believe that the House Bill 5 that's in special legislation now is going to be moved to Finance Committee. Is that right? So that we can get move it forward before the end of the year, which we have to do? That is correct. Okay. Thank you. Um, the Streets and Sidewalks Committee, Mr. Simpson. Thank you, Mr. President. No meeting scheduled, nothing to report. Thank you, Water and Utilities Committee, Mr. Colzar. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the last council meeting I was able to attend, uh, I was trying to get a meeting in here in November um, with the holidays and other meetings already scheduled. It's looking tough, so we're going to try to fit something in by the end of the year. But then that's all I have to report. Thank you. Thank you. Request for council action. We have several for finance. We have 15176. Diversity Resolution of Support, 15177, Transfer and Advance Request, 001 to 428, 15178, Advance Request, Various Funds, 15179, Budget Amendments, 15180, Ground Lease Miracle League of Northeast Ohio, 15181, Expenditure over 15,000 for Main Street Lighting, 15182, Expenditure over 15,000 for Tree Master, Increase PO number 15263. Uh, 15183 agreement with HSH excavating for Guilford Boulevard culvert 15184 established fair market value for easement at 260 State Road 15185 memo of understanding with Clover Communities Medina LLC 15186 ODOT airport grant funding and 15187 right away agreement at 711 West Smith reports of municipal officers Mayor Hamill Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just a couple things. Uh, Eat, Drink, and Shop Medina, the Post newspapers, in partnership with the uh, Medina Chamber of Commerce, Main Street Medina, and the City of Medina, will host the first annual Eat, Drink, and Shop Medina. And this is from November 1st to November 30th. Any receipts with the 44256 area code uh, can be turned in for tickets. Each, each uh, receipt gets a ticket. And then they uh, will draw the prizes at the rec center on December 5th. Um, it's to help support our local merchants uh, during this holiday season. Um, each receipt in general will get one ticket. However, if the business uh, that issued the receipt is a Main Street member or a Chamber member, then those receipts get two tickets instead of one. And the prizes uh, are still being donated, but will be listed at the Medina Post Newspapers Facebook page. On Saturday, November 7th, uh, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., there was a fundraiser uh, for the Spokes Cafe uh, that was victimized by somebody breaking into the uh, building. Um, it was well attended by the residents, uh, business owners, and uh, many community leaders, and uh, was just a, a great display of the care, compassion, and support evident in the uh, Medina community. This Wednesday, November 11th, the annual Veterans Day concert will be held at St. Francis Church at 7 p.m. That's the actual Veterans Day holiday. Uh, these concerts were started after the 9-11 attacks uh, in 2001 as a way to bring the community together as well as to recognize our veterans. And the planning committee worked, uh, worked this year to try to keep it from Monday evening, uh, which is always a conflict with this. So all are welcome. It's a great concert, and it lasts about an hour. 
And last but not least, the uh, upcoming candlelight walk uh, preparations, the lights are being tested, and uh, the decorations are being hung. Uh, starts Friday, November 20th to Sunday, November 22nd. The community tree lighting will be Friday on November 20th at 7 p.m. Then Holiday of Lights Parade on Saturday from Medina High School to the Square starts at 5.30, ends about 6.30 or thereabouts. And then once the safe area is cleared out around the uh, square, then there will be fireworks uh, displayed from the upper level of the parking deck uh, over top of the square, synchronized to Christmas music. There will be other events that will take place on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of that weekend. And uh, for a list of activities, you can go to the Main Street Medina website for the schedule and specific activities, which is www.mainstreetmedina.com. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Durham, Law Director. I mean, <laughs> no, Finance <laughs> Director. No, don't give me the legal questions. Those, that's this guy. Um, we have the budget review coming up on uh, November 19th. That's uh, 10 days from today. I've sent massive piles of documentation to council on that um, a spreadsheet to uh, work out uh, income tax allocation adjustments that you may wish to propose, um, information on uh, our various revenue sources and alternatives, and look forward to that discussion. If there's any questions before it, I'm happy to, to meet with you or, or go over those and answer those. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Huber, Law Director. Thank you, Mr. President. I would like to donate my report time to the Economic Development Director, Ms. Marshall. <laughs> Thank you. Chief Beraducci, Police Chief. I'd like to do that also, Mr. President. I may be giving her too much time. Ms. Marshall, Economic Development Director. I'm going to need it. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as you know, our Made in Medina County Manufacturing Expo was held on Friday, November 6th at the Medina County Fairgrounds in the Community Center. This was the first time that we had the event and it was an astounding success. We had over 700 guests and visitors from throughout Northeast Ohio, which included 250 students from every Medina County School District, including a handful of homeschooled students. We had 45 manufacturing exhibits and heard a keynote presentation from Thomas Frey, Google's top ranked futurist speaker. Students had the opportunity to learn about career paths, participate in hands-on demonstrations in 3D printing, and visit a mobile welding lab. Porridge Lakes Career Center brought their Ramtech Robotics as another feature, and that was a big hit as well. I would like to thank our mayor, Dennis Hanwell, for his tre tremendous amount of support for this event. Uh, not only financially did we contribute as a host city, but we dedicated many of our staff resources to prepare <coughs> for the day. It was a pretty big undertaking. I would like to mention the following and thank them for all their help. Uh, Police Chief Patrick Baraducci and Sergeant McNabb for arranging officers to help with the traffic flow and crowd control as well as attending the event themselves. Service Director Nino Piccoli for dedicating a tremendous amount of his staff to help with the setup of the day of the on the day of event in the East Hall. Um, I don't remember all of their names, but Nino knows who they are. Um, they were there at 6 a.m., so we really appreciate that. Mike Wright, our rec center director, for his help with set up and staffing the City of Medina booth. Dan Gladish, our building official, for his help with setting up of the East Hall the morning of the event. And Jansen Worley for making copies of the um, Parks brochure that we could distribute at our City of Medina booth. So you guys are awesome. Thanks. We also had a tremendous amount of support from our business and community partners. Again, Westfield Insurance and Westfield Bank for sponsoring our keynote speaker. The AI Root Company, AmeriCal Corporation, Antonio's Pizza, they donated all the pizza for the students. Automation Tool and Die, Beacon Marshall, Bullseye Activewear. Bullseye actually donated all the t-shirts for the students. Cascade Capital Corporation, the cities of Medina, Wadsworth, and Brunswick. They were all host city sponsors. Cleveland Clinic Brunswick, Community Energy Advisors, Cuyahoga Community College, Fast Signs of Medina, Falber PR and Marketing, Fire Decks, Frontier Communications, Gerstbacher Real Estate Group, the Greater Akron Chamber, Greater Cleveland Partnership, Integrity Staffing Services, Main Street Lighting, Medina County Fiber Network, Medina Plating Corporation, Owens Corning Corporation, the PNC Bank, they sponsored breakfast. 
uh, Proximity Marketing, Sandridge Food Corporation, Temper Sealy, Shiloh Industries, the HR Group, Weikert Insurance, WireNet, Ohio Means Jobs, uh, Medina County Office, the Medina County Career Center, Hawthorne Suites by Wyndham, uh, Magnet, Medina County Fair Board, Alice Training Institute, and Russell and Andrus. Our, also, we had a steering committee that uh, put in a lot of time and effort, and I wanted to thank them as well. Our next round of ribbon cuttings are scheduled for Friday, November 20th, in conjunction with Main Street Medina and the Medina Chamber of Commerce. We will welcome Inspired Designs by Elizabeth Ann at 10 a.m. at 108 West Washington Street. Um, this is a new little jewelry and accessories boutique that will be opening up. And then Fabric Obsession, located at 620 East Smith Road, Unit W20. It's a fabric uh, and quilting shop that's moving to the city from the township. We'll be sending out more details later this week, and that is my report. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mandel, Planning and Community Development Director. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I just have one thing to... Uh, Report on behalf of the uh, Medina City Development Corporation, the uh, America's Best Communities Prize Competition. The uh, um, the submission for the quarter finalist plan was last Friday. Uh, the Development Corporation did submit that plan. Uh, it's a neighborhood improvement, downtown neighborhood improvement program. Uh, I just wanted to announce that that's there, We're going into the next steps, which would be a semifinal uh, determination. That'll be in January of next year. They will, the competition will decide 15 semifinalists to move into the further round of the America's Best Community <coughs> Prize competition. Um, the uh, Development Corporation really wants to uh, uh, thank the Medina team, which was a cross-section of our private, public, in, uh, nonprofit institutions and for-profit businesses in the community uh, that got together and worked really hard and provided patience and valuable in, input over the three-month period between uh, be, for, through August of, to uh, last week of putting together the Downtown Neighborhood Improvement Program. Um, this is uh, a, will be a great asset for the community, and just to remind everybody, the ultimate prizes of first, second, and third prizes, one, two, and three million dollars, or one million dollars for third prize, and then subsequent as we go along. So that's a uh, that's available through. You can uh, access a, uh, the link for the plan is available either on the city website in economic development reports and studies there's a link there and then it's further linked through to the uh, to the Medina team's ABC prize Facebook page which is basically if you search ABC prize Medina team you'll probably pull up the page and you can see a video that was put together to be part of the plan and then a link to the plan through the city's website so thank you thank you mr. Wright recreation center director Thank you, Mr. President. Just quick no, two announcements. Uh, the Medina Rec wants to remind the community that the 6th through 12th grade registration and skills testing for the Medina Youth Basketball League is this <coughs> Wednesday and Thursday, November 11th and 12th, and Saturday, November 14th. Uh, for more information, you can go to our website at www.medinarec.org or call our program specialist, Maureen Dow at 330-721-6935. And uh, lastly, our next Rec Advisory Committee meeting is this or is Thursday, November 19th at the Rec Center at 7.30 a.m. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Worley, Parks and Recreation Director. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you, Mr. Gladys, Building Official. Thank you, Mr. President. I have no report. Thank you, Mr. Patton, City Engineer. Uh, thank you. I just want to report that earlier today, uh, our Board of Control awarded the North Huntington Street Project. Uh, we accepted bids last week for the reconstruction uh, the phase two, and it was awarded to Fabrizi Trucking and Paving. That looked to get that project get started here probably in the next month or so uh, with completion next spring. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCauley, Service Director. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, crews have been working diligently on our LEAF program. Uh, we're seeing heavy volume, so I appreciate the patience of the public. Um, on that note, uh, Councilman Shields reminded me of the LEAF hotline. Um, that number is 330-725-LEAF, which is 5323, and, and you can receive updates as a resident. I do believe he calls it to check up on that, as well as the uh, on the uh, website, we have an updated map daily. Uh, also, you heard Mayor Hanwell reference the uh, preparing for candlelight walk. Our crews have been diligently working on that as well. 
And then lastly, the city auction is this Saturday, the city garage, 781 West Smith Road. Um, Previews at 9 o'clock. The actual auction starts at 10, so we have quite a few items. If you're in the market for a garbage truck or your own leaf vac, those items will be available for sale. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Notices, communications, and petitions are on on unfinished business. There's none. Introduction of visitors. Members of the public will be permitted the opportunity to speak on any issue or concern which pertains to the city during the portion of the agenda devoted to introduction of visitors. All comments shall be directed to the chair in a reasonable time limit of approximately five minutes will be imposed if there's a group please appoint a spokesperson speakers should approach the front right microphone and state their name and address so it can be entered into the minutes members of the public will be afforded the opportunity to comment on other portions of the meeting as determined by the chair or by a vote of the majority of council members present is there anybody that wishes to address council at this time yes ma'am good evening i'm Deb Rollins, 118 Bradway. I'm from the auditor's office. Just for a quick update from the auditor's office, a couple things, mostly for kids. Um, the Top Dog Essay Contest is going on right now. It's for all fourth graders. They can enter an essay why their dog is top dog in the county. And they have to be in by November 16th. The essays have to be into our office by November 16th. And secondly is the SEALS Contest. Um, it's the 16th annual SEALS contest. It's for high school students, and they design, well, they can design all the different SEALs that go on the gas pumps for price verification, that type of thing. They have to be submitted by November 27th, and um, all the different information is on our website, you know, all the different criteria that they have to meet. Any questions for our office? Nope. No. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Introduction and consideration of ordinances and resolutions. We have ordinance 137.15, an ordinance authorizing expenditure of an amount not to exceed $9,000 to Chippewa Roofing for roof repairs at Medina Municipal Court. Phase two. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mm. Mr. Piccoli? Yes, that's part of integrated roof repair and replacement <coughs> over at the court. So we look forward to getting that taken care of, and I believe the judge does as well. Thank you. Any further discussion or comment? Will the clerk please call the roll in the ordinance? Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Ordinance 137 15 passes 7 0. Ordinance 138 15, <coughs> ordinance authorizing an increase of expenditure to wing foot commercial tire systems from 25000 to 35000 Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Piccoli. Thank you, Mr. President. This ordinance will allow us to increase our PO uh, in an effort to um, complete our tire purchases for the sanitation department through the end of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion or comment? Clerk, please call the roll in your ordinance. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Ordinance 138-15 passes 7-0. Ordinance 139-15, ordinance authorizing the mayor to advertise for competitive bids and to award a contract to the successful bidder for a one-year supply of various kinds of maintenance materials needed for the streets and water lines, including but not limited to salt, the chemicals used for treatment of water, and water meters to be used for the various departments of the city of Medina, Ohio. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Piccoli. Thank you, Mr. President. As stated, it's a material service bids that we uh, would like to go out for our, our upcoming year, 2016. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was short. Uh, any further discussion or comment? Clerk, please call the roll in your ordinance. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. <clears throat> Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coin. Yes. Ordinance 139-15 passes 7-0. Ordinance 140-15, ordinance authorizing the mayor to solicit requests for proposals, RFPs, for drug screening and associate professional services for the employees of the city of Medina. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields. Emergency clause has been requested. I move to add it at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Discussion on the emergency clause and the ordinance. Mayor Hamill. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, each year we, uh, the city of Medina is a drug-free workplace, and each year we uh, rebid this and uh, i apologize we got it to you a little bit late the reason we're asking for the emergency clause is uh, we'd like to give them several weeks to uh, turn the bids in and and then uh, have the bid awarded through border control uh, to do that we need the emergency clause thank you any further discussion or comment <coughs> clerk please call the rolling emergency clause rose yes shields yes simpson yes coin yes hilberg yes 
Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Clerk, please call the roll on the ordinance. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Ordinance 140-15 passes 7-0. Ordinance 141-15, ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into a renewal contract with United Healthcare for the health care insurance for the employees of the city of Medina. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. President. Mr. Shields. The emergency clause has been requested. I move to add at this time. My second includes the emergency clause. Discussion on the emergency clause and the ordinance. Mayor Hamill. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, the city is currently under contract with United Healthcare. Uh, the renewal uh, for these services is a 15.5% increase uh, in the health care coverage. Uh, the reason that that increases uh, a little bit more than last year w was because of uh, a number of uh, claims, uh, high claims. In fact, the, the amount of premiums paid uh, was less than the amount of claims paid by the insurance company, so generally when those things happen, they, they have to make up that difference. The dental, there was no increase, and the life insurance, there was no increase, so the uh, percentage increase for United Healthcare is simply for the health insurance. The reason we are requesting the emergency clause is if we waited until December 9th to try to get the uh, contract signed, the new cards issued, and out to employees, it would be a pretty tight, tight timeline, so we're asking for the emergency clause. Thank you. Any further discussion or comment? Mm -hmm. Please call the roll on the emergency clause. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Motion passes 7 0. Clerk, please call the roll on the ordinance. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coyne? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Ordinance 141-15 passes 7-0. Ordinance 142-15, ordinance authorizing the finance director to make certain fund transfers. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Durham. Thank you, Mr. President. This uh, started out as an advance, which is a loan of money from one fund to another. We are uh, converting that to a transfer. The special assessments project fund that received this loan and will become a transfer, we use to cover projects, mostly um, high grass complaints. Some of those we don't end up getting the money back. We try to certify those to the taxes, but if the tax bill ultimately isn't paid, then we need to pay for that, and that's why we're converting this to a transfer. Thank you. Any further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll in the ordinance. Shields. Yes. Simpson. Yes. Coyne. Yes. Hilberg. Yes. Colasar. Yes. Lamb. Yes. Rose. Yes. Ordinance 142-15 passes 7-0. Ordinance 143-15, ordinance authorizing the finance director to make certain fund advances. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. Durham? Thank you, Mr. President. This is a $10,000 advance. Also to the Special Assessments Projects Fund, we'll uh, hope to be able to, that these will be collectible and then we'll pay it back if they are. If not, we'll end up turning this into a transfer as well. Thank you. Any further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll in the ordinance. Simpson. Yes. Coin? Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Ordinance 143-15 passes 7-0. Ordinance 144-15, ordinance authorizing the finance director to make certain fund advances. Move to approve. Second. Discussion? Mr. Durham? Thank you, Mr. President. As discussed with the last two ordinances, these are advances, <coughs> which are loans of money from one fund to another. There's three of them. The first is uh, half of the balance of, of the original amount that we loaned from the General Purpose Capital Fund to the Water Capital Improvement Fund for the Water Tower back in 2006. The second one is uh, money that was loaned to the Fire Capital Fund back in 2014. And the final one is money that was loaned to the Airport Fund for the Jet Fuel Dispensing System. These are all rollovers of these advances. We're carrying them forward. Thank you. Any further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll in the ordinance. Coin. Yes. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Ordinance 144-15 passes 7-0. And Ordinance 145-15, Ordinance amending Ordinance number 200-14, passed December 8th, mm -hmm. 2014, amendments to the 2015 budget. Move to approve. Second. Discussion. Mr. Durham. Thank you, Mr. President. These are the appropriations to cover the advances we previously discussed. Thank you. Any further discussion? Clerk, please call the roll in the ordinance. Hilberg? Yes. Colasar? Yes. Lamb? Yes. Rose? Yes. Shields? Yes. Simpson? Yes. Coin? Yes. Ordinance 145-15 passes 7-0. Council comments? Mr. President? 
Mr. Rose. Um, yes, I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank all the veterans coming up Wednesday is Veterans Day. I'd like to thank all the veterans. My colleague, uh, Bill Lamb, uh, gave their service to, the, to our country defending them. And uh, I th we can't help but thank them enough for allowing us to do what we do here um, in, in what is known as a free society. And uh, we'd like to keep it that way. So thank you all. Thank you. Mr. Colzer. Thank you, Mr. President. I myself uh, would like to uh, thank all the veterans out there, Bill, and uh, everybody out there that uh, put their life on the line or did their service for our country, and I just want to say uh, thank you for my freedom. I will not take it for granted. I also want to thank uh, the people that came out uh, for Spokes, like the mayor referenced on Saturday to Spokes Cafe. Um, utterly disappointing that somebody has the, the gall to come out and uh, uh, rob a organization as uh, precious as uh, Spokes Cafe and uh, I just want to say and that's in Ward 3 and uh, take it personal to be honest with you and uh, I want to say thank you to the administration and all their efforts to try to catch uh, the individual or individuals that uh, took part in that. And uh, lastly, I just want to say congratulations to my fellow councilmen here, uh, Bill Lamb, Denny Simpson, Jim Shields, and John Coyne on a, uh, a re-election, and uh, I look forward to working with you guys in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Lamb? Thank you, Mark. That's uh, the kind of you to say. Let me just share this, this with you. Uh, the Medina Community Design Committee's annual holiday home tour is December 6th uh, from 12, on Sunday, December 6th from 12 to 5. And this year's home tour has five exceptional homes dating really kind of across the architectural history of, of, our, of our community from 1834 to 19, 1950. And um, not only five homes, but also St. Paul's uh, Episcopal Church, where refreshments will be served. The Medina Town Hall and Engine House Museum, where people that come to the, um, come our guests at the house tour, will be able to learn about the history of Medina. And um, a real treat will be First Merit Bank will be open uh, and participating in the house tour because I think a lot of folks don't probably under remember or, or ever knew that First Merit Bank was the most expensive restoration on the square. <coughs> and when the restoration of that bank was made, it won numerous national, uh, national awards uh, for the work that they did. Um, tickets go on sale at Miss Molly's Tea Room this Friday and Cool Beans this Friday. On Monday, tickets go on sale at all four Bueller's locations in Medina County and also on Monday tickets go on sale online at Medina Community Design Committee dot org. Um, it's a great event. All the ho homes will be decorated for the tour uh, for, for Christmas. Um, it's a lot of fun and it should be a great learning experience. Thank you. Thank you. Any other additional council comments? Mr. President. Yes, Mr. Kulzar. Uh, I forgot I have a veteran sitting next to me and <laughs> Right here on uh, Mr. Hilberg, and uh, thank you, too, for your service to our, our country. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Any other additional? That was educational. Yeah, it was. Thank you for your service. Any other additional council comments? I have two. On Tuesday, November 17th, we have a joint meeting, the City Council and the Buckeye Board of Education, which will be at the Buckeye Intermediate School on Route 252 Columbia Road at 530. And again, uh, on November 19th, we have a all-important budget meeting. If you've missed any of them, this is the one you'd like to attend uh, to discuss the financing and, and funding of the current approved five-year plan, including the budget for 2016. So I hope to see everybody here at City Hall at 530 on November 19th. <coughs> With that being said, the meeting's adjourned. Thank you.